So I want to read you a poem that I wrote in my book called Horizon View. Now, the title of the page says Horizon View, but the title of the poem is called The Space Between. And I realize that that kind of seems a little weird, but I did that as a reminder of, of where this poem came from. And many, many times I've I would go outside and either sit under the stars or I would be at the lake sitting on the water um, looking out at just the beauty that was in front of me. Many times I would sit outside and watch the sun rise or the sun set. But one morning I was sitting out in my backyard and I had been up very, very early, had saw many shooting stars, um, walked under the stars, prayed to God and just really was absorbing his creation that was all around me. And I went to sit back down and the sun began to rise and right in the middle of the sky was a line and half of the sky was still dark and half of the sky was still light. And they call this the twilight zone. And this is the zone where sun is coming up to push back the darkness and take over. And at that moment, I sat and I thought about Genesis 1 and the creation story. And I began to read it. And as I read it, I thought only God could do something so incredible and open my eyes to the horizon around me and see a different view of him. See how big it is, how beautiful. I just stood in awe at that moment of the creation that was around me. And as I listened, and that was actually what I was doing, I'd put my earphone in my ear and was just listening to Genesis as I was watching this twilight zone just disappear in front of my eyes and listen to the birds start to chirp and the, bu the bees buzzing and a hummingbird. I'll have hummingbirds that come on my wet porch coming by. I was so overwhelmed by what God had created that I wrote this poem and as I was listening to Genesis it just spilled out of me so I want to challenge you this week to do just that put Genesis on and put it in your earphone or play it on a speaker however you want to do it but go sit outside in the midst of God's creation and listen to the words that God spoke that created this world, that never stopped creating because his word never comes back void, and really stand in awe of who God is and what he created and why he created all of this for you and me, so he could have a family, so he could have his children live with him, um, communicate with him, love him, but he built all of this to bless us. So thank him today for his creation and allow me to read this poem over you. Just close your eyes and listen to the words of the poem and then go listen to Genesis and sit out and see what God tells you in the midst of that, what he speaks to you in your heart as you're sitting outside in all of everything he created. The Space Between Lord, lay me where heaven kisses earth. Blanket me with rest for my weary soul. Renew my flesh for the road is long and give me strength to climb the valleys below. Lord, lift me up in the space between where the waters of heaven parted and show the wisdom that is unknown to me. Lord, speak upon me the words woven between heaven and earth. Weave me tightly in the space between so I stay close to the words you speak to me. Lord, take me on the winds to heaven. Lift me above the clouds. Swirl me through the stars and set my gaze from above so I look below and I praise you. Lord, hover over me, so your reflection is all I see. Breathe into me your spirit, so I can move in the space you weaved into me. Amen. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Each morning before you step out of bed, ask God to hover over you and breathe a new breath of revival into your heart. Grace and peace.